It was a historic promise made four years ago. 14 recommendations to create a new way of dealing with forest here in BC. But advocates say concrete steps are missing from a new government report called From Review to Action. Reading it, we are very concerned because there is no short-term action in this update leading to change on the ground. Well, BC continues to build on all of these plans and commitments, old growth continues to get logged. Uh, the habitat of at-risk species continues to be destroyed. Conservation experts say old growth deferral was part of the strategic review released in 2020. However, they say the latest report lacks any updated timelines or milestone dates. What's really important for us to see in this report is how the province is repositioning timelines on the promises they've made for old growth and the lack of action that we still need to see from the province. To see the delays in implementing the framework to 2025 now, to finalizing the framework in 2025, means that the implementation of that law will not come into place until at least 2025. Conservationists are also calling on the province to be more transparent in communication. Wheating says when it comes to data on old growth logging, it's only partial and from 2022. It shows that um, we still have uh, about 160 soccer fields of old growth logging every day, but we don't have more recent data. So the BC government is still collecting information for 2023, for 2022. So we need more transparency. We need more up-to-date information. The province says they remain committed to implementing all 14 recommendations. However, quote, achieving the full intent of the review is work that will span generations. We don't have time to make long-term plans when we're facing a climate emergency, uh, when we're facing wildfires, which are made worse by the types of logging that are still common practice in British Columbia. Saurabh Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.